Hey guys, now that we have created our funnel, it's time for us to go to automations and start creating the workflows. So the workflows, what they are gonna do is basically when somebody fills up the form on the landing page, they're gonna receive a follow-up email, SMS. Uh, if they book a call or if they book an appointment, they're gonna receive confirmation, appointment reminders. If they cancel, they're gonna receive the follow-ups and they're gonna get added to the pipelines. Uh, the user is going to get a uh, notification when a lead comes in, all sorts of stuff. So for that, we are here in our automations and we are going to start uh, by step one, which will be the first page automation. So whenever somebody fills uh, the form on the landing page, we are going to perform automations. So this will be step one, landing page automation. So the trigger will be form submitted because there's a form there and we want this workflow to be activated on a form submission. So this is that trigger. We are going to select form is landing page form. So we are going to name this landing page form submitted. All right. Now let's save the trigger and save the workflow. The first step would be for this workflow to assign the lead to a user. So whenever there's a lead, we want this lead to be assigned to a user of the system. So right now, as you can see, there's two. This is me. I'm not going to assign this to me. Let's assign this uh, this to John Doe and only apply to unassigned contacts. You can do it, but we are assuming like whenever somebody comes from an ad or organic search, they, they're not in the system. So this doesn't matter really. So we're going to save action, assign to user. Now we are going to do, we are going to add this lead to the pipeline so we're going to search for create or update opportunity so the the values in the pipelines are called opportunities so we are creating an opportunity in the pipeline so select pipeline will be main pipeline stage will be new lead because the form was just submitted by a new lead now opportunity name here we are going to select full name so this is will be shown on the tile of that lead so this is contact name and this will be dynamically generated and replaced by the lead name opportunity source you can give it like ads or if you're running ads you could type ads or if you're just running google ads you could just type google ads or something like that so you could do a bunch of stuff with this status is open or just keep it as it is but i'm just keeping it open opportunities don't touch this maybe for now and allow duplicate because if it's a sale maybe you are selling a product then it makes sense to keep it open because like if a person purchases two products those will be counted as two conversions so for now i'm just keeping it off save action so this step will be called add to main pipeline okay now the third step will be for the user in the system, whoever is maintaining the leads, managing the leads uh, to receive a notification. So we will say send internal notification, type of notification, email is fine. From name would be maybe CRM for now, info at just this. And then user type will be assigned user. You could do custom email also. So if you want to send it to a particular user or just maybe send it to the client, you could do it from here. But for now, I'm just doing it assigned the user because like generally this will be the client himself who's maintaining the leads. So subject will be new lead in the system. All right. And hi, there is a new lead in the system. And let's give it the details contact.fullname, contact.email, and contact.phone number because these are the info we are grabbing through the form. So, okay, uh, internal notification done. We are gonna now send the email, which will be the confirmation email, just basically a follow-up. So I've written down a uh, basic email here so i'm gonna i'm gonna call it from name will be evergreen dental or maybe just as it's assigned to a user you could just say user dot full name so this will be replaced by the username from uh, from email will be user dot email and subject will be thank you for your interest here we're gonna 
type something here so thanks for contacting us we're pleased blah 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 click here to book an appointment so assuming like if they haven't booked an appointment this is just a basic follow-up really nothing fancy so we are gonna give the link here uh, so for now I'm just giving it a hash but this will be actually replaced by the the second step of the funnel so this will be the booking link here so the second page link of the funnel I'm just leaving it uh, blank for now so that's it and the same thing will be sent here and this will be actually replaced by the booking URL. So like it will be like offer dot evergreen if you have a like something like this. So, so assuming this is the second page of the funnel. So this this will be just here and save action, save. And don't forget to publish this workflow. Otherwise it won't work. Now the first step of the funnel automation is done. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create the appointment reminder and confirmation. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a different workflow. We're going to call it, uh, we're going to call it step two, appointment confirmation and reminders. All right. So the trigger for this workflow is going to be appointment booked. So customer booked an appointment or just booked appointment. It's fine uh the trigger for this would be the calendar dental appointment booking so this is what we created and we're going to select save trigger save the workflow so the workflow will activate for a particular lead if the lead books the appointment in that calendar so uh everything makes sense now so first of all we are going to assign to new user now you might question then why did we assign to user on the first step? Let, let me make this clear. So on the second step, you could just give the appointment booking link directly to someone and then the lead will just book the appointment. So he has basically skipped the first step. So in that case, if he has skipped the first step, he's not going to be assigned to a user in the system. So for that, we are just making sure uh, the lead is assigned to someone. And in this case, we can make this only apply to us unassigned contacts. Uh, this makes sense now. And the second step of this workflow will be opportunity. Again, we're gonna change the pipeline stage in this. So we're gonna select main pipeline, appointment booked, just like the previous one. It's worth nothing, open, and that's it. The third step will be internal notification. I'm just skipping this for now. I'm just gonna, send a confirmation now so the confirmation will be sent email and i'm going to call this from name will be user dot full name from email will be user dot email subject is booking confirmation so here is the custom field for the appointment start time so this is generated from here custom values appointment and start date time so this will be replaced by the date and time of the customer booking appointment that's it so this will be the confirmation email confirmation done you can just copy this and create an sms too if you want but i'm just gonna skip this so you just copy and paste this and save but i'm not doing an sms now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a wait trigger here and uh we're just gonna say before one day of booking or just appointment so i'm going to explain this now time delay okay so what we're going to do is we're going to wait till there's one day left of the appointment so this is how we do it we put a wait trigger and we're going to say wait for event appointment time before one day so what this is going to do is this is going to stop the automation until there's one day left of the appointment so once we are done, we are going to say, so now this all makes sense, right? So assign to user, update the opportunity stage in the pipeline, confirmation email, you can do an SMS and just wait before there's one day left of the appointment. Now what we're going to do is what uh, we're going to send an email. We're going to say reminder. I'm just skipping this part. You can, you can fill this up later. So we are going to say, hey, contact dot first name. This will be actually replaced by the leads name. This is just a friendly reminder tomorrow need to reschedule so this is the reschedule link and you can find it here in appointment 
so just gonna say regards evergreen dental okay done and an sms2 if you want to do it but i'm gonna put another wait trigger and wait until there's two hours left of the appointment so wait until two hours before so this is how you do appointment reminders right okay now the same thing before two hours okay done and we are going to do another email saying see you in a couple hours okay uh done and save publish don't forget to publish okay now what we did was we created an automation for the first step which was the form submission we created an appointment confirmation and reminder automation including the steps where you add them to the pipeline you uh, you send notifications to users you send a confirmation to the lead reminders to the lead for appointment booking and all those stuff in the next video we are going to handle the no show and canceled bookings using a different workflow because that's going to be like when the user cancels so if you go to email here and let me show you so if you go to custom values and put cancellation link this will be replaced by a link if the lead clicks on this link the appointment will be cancelled so in that case you can automatically move that booking to canceled and start another follow-up campaign which will basically ask the lead to book another appointment basically reschedule so we are going to do all those stuff and uh, handle those use cases in the next video